that I felt before Some kind of chemical that reaches through my core Feels like as far as you and me I've never had a choice You feel like home mm-hmm. You're like the opposite of all of my mistakes Tear down the biggest walls and put me in my place I know that kind of comfortable you cannot replicate You feel like home So if you're asking me, say, oh, how do you know? I don't just feel it in my heart. Don't just feel it in my heart. No, I feel it. Well, let's take a look here. So, um, we've taken some um, quarter inch plate steel and we ground away at our mount here so that we could fit our plate more flush um, to get a good position of the bolt holes so we have some strength there. So, that's what we did and <clears throat> we got about six inches of plate protruding and that protrusion is going to come right there and then we're going to bolt straight up through um, the uh, almost half inch plate I think uh, quarter inch plate something like that but anyway I'm going to bolt up through and into the toolboxes here and uh, that's how we're going to secure the front if we look at this side you can see where we've done our um, mounts same way and then we look at the protrusion here <coughs> coming through the hole I'm gonna come through here right now if you can see it we're at the bottom of the hole so we're gonna have to cut away more on our hole uh, cutting out the downward position of it um, <coughs> It wasn't real practical to put the plate here on top, which is what I originally was going to do. Um, it uh, just isn't practical to do that. So I ended up putting it on the bottom um, to get a, a really a solid fit. So in moving the trailer, we got a chain here hooked up going underneath. And we secure that with a strap to our tongue. And to pull it forward and um, and we have a floor jack on the back side so we just jack it up just um, oh half an inch or an inch and it will pull real easily forward and also back we got a chain hooked to the mounts on the back of the sleeper con uh, converging down to the strap um, attached to the chain going crosswise with a binder made it really convenient simple and easy to move um, this sleeper back and forth um, now we got a lot closer than I had anticipated by doing the cutout uh, down here and putting our steel bracket here and mounting when we pull this forward we're pulling all the way up against the steel here uh, hitting here on our mount so we actually have a clearance between this steel and the sleeper this amount right here from that rivet head um, to the sleeper that's how much clearance we have so um, now what is that half an inch maybe <laughs> now with our steel up here we have a little more clearance um, because of the dimension than we do here this here is actually a little wider um, than this steel here so um, 
it'll make it pretty easy uh, to um, weatherproof. So we'll probably probably take a, a piece of three quarter inch plywood and maybe wrap it in aluminum, maybe not. But uh, uh, we'll do it with clamps, clamping from the inside um, uh, and drill through the plywood with, um, with nut and bolt. Anyway, to suck it in. And then we will pull our sleeper up. So uh, way it should come out, this clearance will be gone. And um, it'll actually be pressing against the plywood. And, uh, and we'll uh, put a sealant uh, between uh, the sleeper and the plywood. So it'll be really sealed to the sleeper. Um, we might use... Um, good quality sealant in a tube or perhaps um, we might actually do it with rubber haven't decided yet but uh, we'll just make it to the contour of the uh, opening in the cab plus about oh, three inches uh, around the outside and um, and then of course we'll be putting our kitchen on top of the gooseneck on top of the the cargo boxes and uh, we'll be building a uh, um, kitchen basically an eight foot box by about 30 inches deep and going up above the uh, uh, the, uh, the cutout uh, of the sleeper so we're going be going just a little bit up above that and uh, that'll be our kitchen and then in the front of that here we'll have a 4500 watt generator and um, pretty much decided that under here um, we got good clearance here we got good clearance to the cab um, a good four foot anyway um, I'm thinking that maybe I'll put a curtain uh, here um, tarp made out of tarp materials and come across and over to here um, that we can put up easily goes all the way to the ground and right about there we'll put a shower head put a pump and um, and water tank and uh, and um, maybe even a hot water heater and uh, you can take a, a quick a quick uh, shower um, after uh, strapping down a load or unstrapping and um, and whatnot because it gets really hot really hot and sweaty and it's it's really a dirty job so if we can um, swing a curtain around and uh, for the privacy and and boom have a, a quick dousing shower and cool off uh, I think that that'd be the way to go so anyway that's our plan um, we're gonna catch the sleeper and then after we attach the sleeper We'll be working on the refrigerator, um, changing the interior design and so we can put in a, um, a good sized refrigerator um, inside the sleeper. And, um, and then after the refrigerator's in, then we'll be uh, blocking up our, um, our front um, um, access. We'll be blocking that up after we get the refrigerator in. But there it is. Some kind of chemical that reaches through my core Feels like as far as you and me I've never had a choice You feel like home mm -hmm. You're like the opposite of all of my mistakes Tear down the biggest walls and put me in my place I know that kind of comfortable You cannot replicate You feel like home mm -hmm. So if you're asking me Say, oh, how do you know? I don't just 